Chris Olds, back at media here. It's a Case Busters edition. Yeah, Case Busters. And it's something that's different, something that's perfect for our other's issue of Beckett Sports Card Monthly coming up. And it's something that uh, was not expensive. Could be interesting, maybe scary, but for the price, I said, I'll try it. This is a case, sealed case, from Press Pass. Back in 2010, I will try to break the seal. Try not to dump anything off the table, break any computers, or anything like that. And the reason I'm doing this and I totally messed up my chatter there, lost my train of thought while trying to peel tape. The other issue of Beckett Sports Card Monthly, which we're doing here pretty soon, will focus on sports that are not the traditional. Ow! That hurt. That could have been the first knockout in Box Busters history. Well, besides all the great videos that we produce. You know, we knock you out every time, right? Um, boy, this has to be exciting for you. Let's try this, and. In 2010, popped it. Get the other side. Press Pass produced cards for a sport you definitely don't see every day. Oh, and as I say for the third time, now that I have the seal open, you don't see these cards every day because it's a, a different sport. It's not baseball, it's not football, it's not basketball, it's not hockey. It's not NASCAR, it's not MMA, it's not golf, it's not uh, tennis, it's not wrestling, it's, uh, well, it's something different. And this is a case, 20 boxes, 20 blaster boxes, 2010, press pass, 8 seconds rodeo cards. Mm-hmm. Dave and Adam's Card World, post Black Friday. They decided to slash and burn the prices on these bad boys. 20 box case, six packs per six packs per box, 20 bucks case, 20 bucks. Shipping was free because I ordered some other stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rip one box here on camera, maybe a second, and then I'm gonna show the rest of the results here. Let me grab a couple more boxes just in case I get going. I'll show you the rest of what comes in an entire case in the other's issue of Beckett Sports Card Monthly, as my camera continues to shake, where we're going to talk about some of these other sports besides baseball, football, basketball, and hockey. So with all that said, we did a Box Busters on this product way back when it came out, but the videos are out there somewhere on the interwebs, somewhere. They're not on Beckett.com presently, so I figured I'd do a break, show a few packs, show a little bit of what's inside these things. The odds of finding some kind of autograph or mem card are probably not that great because it is, after all, rodeo cards, retail, blasters. Let's see, signatures, one in 48 packs. I might have enough here. What's uh, six? I have 120 packs. I should get two, maybe three autographs in my case. Mem cards, one in 96. I should get one, maybe two, but... That'd be pushing it. So here we go. These blaster boxes, just you know, little little uh, lots of packaging, small amount of packs. Note the bowl. Pretty funny. Anytime you can have a chance to rip a case, twenty boxes, fully sealed, bust all the seals. Why not? For that price, it's ridiculous. So here we go. How about a first pack has an insert card? Spur Crazy. Jerome Davis. I do recall writing a review for this back in the day, and I, re I remember s noting that some of the photography is very strikingly done. It's a very simple, full bleed approach there, but pretty cool, pretty different. Um, I remember seeing bull cards. Tracy Hackler enjoyed these for some reason. He's a, He likes to bowl a little bit. Wait, no, that's not it. Anyway, he uh, enjoyed these cards. And then the standard cards, 
The backs are very strikingly designed. Kind of a simple, that one's one of the coolest right there. Kind of a crowd reaction shot, shot from above. And then the fronts are very simple portraits with a very clean, elegant design. So basically, clearly there's not a ton, like baseball card collectors or a lot of you out there. Rodeo collectors, there's probably quite a few or some, but it's not the natural kind of thing to look for. You know, when you go to Target, rodeo cards are on the shelf. And they were. And now I've got them for a dollar a box. One of the greatest names in the set, Skeeter King Solver. Yep. And you also find clowns, a handful of clown cards. They're very important in the rodeo world. Pack three, box one. Let's speed things up. Since I've done my ramble, I've done shown you some cards. I've done shown you. Got my cowboy grammar, unfortunately, showing off here. Grew up in Wyoming, so I've seen some rodeos in my time. Sean Willingham card, cool, different, just different angles, different uses of the photos. For a dollar a box, it's cool. Just something to rip for fun. How about a code blue and a moody blue? Bulls. Those guys could leave you with some... You'd, you'd be feeling blue if they got a piece of you. This pack feels a little thick. And it's got... Oh, okay. I forgot about these. An embossed insert. PBR world champion Michael Gaffney. I think these are called belt buckles. But it doesn't say it on the front of the card. But I think it is based on the design. It's an embossed belt buckle looking insert. Very cool. Cody Lostro. Adriano Mor Morales. Morais. And a bull named Spitfire. With a guy on the back, unfortunately, stuck to him. Not a good spot to be in. So, like I said, 2010, Press Pass made these. I'm sure they sold relatively well, but I'm sure they made plenty, too, just in case it blew up big. And maybe it did, maybe it didn't. That's probably a matter of perspective. I'm sure people who enjoy rodeo enjoyed the cards. It's just a matter of they probably made extra. As I would. If you think you're going to do well, make some extras. A couple more bowls. A couple more players. Final pack in my first box. I'll do two boxes. Just because I know you guys are wanting to see more. Cody Lostro. Dustin Elliott. Luck of the Draw. Subset card. Another great name in the rodeo world. Ryan Dirt Eater. Oh, yeah. And the final card, the first box, Hollywood, the bull. So these boxes aren't big. Six packs. Very small amount of cards. Big box. But, you know, big variety, big different, big fun. Next pack, next box, whatever. I think I'll come back on at the end of the video and maybe, well, maybe I will. I'll, I'll do a little PS at the end to show you some of the, uh, maybe one of the hits I got Whichever is more interesting. Here we go. I also got, just got done filming my Japanese baseball card video, which could go down in infamy as one of the biggest snooze fests in the history of box busters or ripping retail. If I get an autograph of this guy, I'll be happy. He's probably the most famous cowboy active, at least in this set. The king of the cowboys is shown on this card, Ty Murray. If I get an autograph of him, I'm happy. Because I'll easily pay for the box. It's the best autograph in the bunch. There's probably some others that it might sell too. But I'm not really ripping to sell. So, Spur Crazy, Brian Kentner. Three Bulls cards. Deja Blue, Black Pearl, and Troubadour. Oh, yeah. You could probably see why, to a degree, some of these cards probably didn't blow a lot of people away, but you know what? They're not for everybody, just like uh, hockey isn't for me, probably, right? Or whatever, pick your sport. That one, I would not want to be on the end of. Bullfighters, whew. But for a dollar a box, what is it, you know, 
big old, you know, it's a, it's a fun rip. That's why I'm doing it. And we have, oh, well, look at there. I have an autograph. Eight segment, second signatures. Sean Willingham. That's a pretty nice design, actually. On card autograph. Nice card backs. I don't know a thing about Mr. Willingham, but I'm proud to say Sean Willingham's autograph is my first rodeo autograph in my collection. And I got it in a $20 case of cards. Along with some other stuff. I'm, I feel fine right now. To an autograph already? I feel good. Little yellow jacket. That's kind of funny. I'm going to keep ripping. J.W. Hart. Another belt buckle. Troy Dunn. Pretty weird, different, cool design there. I'm back. I've busted a case of 2010 Press Pass 8 Seconds Pro Rodeo cards. And uh, it exceeded my expectations in that it was more fun than I thought it would be. And I got more hits than I thought I would. And I got something else, too. I'm not going to give it all away. You'll have to see more in the BSCM issue coming. But I am going to tease you with what I got. I'll show you one. I ended up getting four hits out of 20 boxes for 20 bucks. Now, none of these, or most of these autographs and mem cards aren't going to be big money. It's not really about the money anyway. It's $20 to open 20 boxes. It's more about just cheap ripping fun. But uh, there are big names, relatively speaking, and uh, the biggest name of them all I pulled a mem card of, which I'm fine with it. It's cool. Not about the money, but it was it, it got a reaction. Ty Murray. Ryder Relic. Pair of event-worn jeans, as shown on the card. As you'll know, or you might know, he was or and is still. I don't know if he still is. Used to be married to Jewel, the pop singer. So he's known beyond his rodeo exploits, and he's pretty good. And I'm not... I got another one. And then I pulled two autographs. Uh, so you saw the one earlier in this video. Well, I pulled two. No Ty Murray, but that's not what was interesting. What was interesting was what was tucked inside one of the blaster boxes. This odd little piece of paper. A certificate of authenticity. It got my attention. I was like, what? It was weird. Just kind of in there with the packs. Kind of a loose piece of paper. And I read it and I said... Okay, where's it at? And in the bottom of the blaster box, tucked inside the, the cardboard webbing, well, I'll just let you read it. A flank strap used on the bull Troubadour during a 2009 event. The rope that the cowboy harness, harnesses himself into a piece of it, pretty weird, flank strap, maybe where he wraps his hand in there, I don't know the exact phrase of terminology of rodeo stuff, was dropped in the box as a bonus item. That's just cool and weird all at the same time. So, dollar a box, I'm sure these aren't one per case, I, I would seriously doubt it, but frankly I haven't... Uh, Open enough cases to know. Just the one. 20 bucks, 20 boxes, dollar box. Four hits. And a flank strap. That's just weird. Now, uh, they have done this before. Press Pass, they put uh, event use sunglasses into the boxes. Just a driver would wear a pair of sunglasses for a photo shoot. They took them afterwards and put them in a box. They did it with, uh, what was it? Spark plugs from NASCAR cars. They put them in the box. Flank straps. Rodeo. They put them in the box. So, 20 boxes, 20 bucks, a dollar a box. I got four hits. I would have been happy with the one that you saw pulled earlier. The box itself pulled uh, or included probably one extra mem card than it should have. But uh, I'll take it. So, I had a strapping good time opening this box for case for some weird reason. And it's part of my collection now. 
it's weird. I liked it. It was fun. So check out some PBR Rodeo cards. Dirt cheap out there. The right place. David Adams Card World. I already ordered another just for fun. We'll see what I get in the next one. So anyway, that was the update, I promised. Chris Olds, Mega Media. Just keep ripping.